It's a review I really didn't want to make. The almost 100 mile review of the Boston 11. And why almost 100 miles? Because I can stick my fingers straight through the side of the upper. It's not just on one shoe, but it's actually on both of the shoes. That is where I struggle with why a shoe is falling apart at 90 miles exactly. Now, I really like this shoe. I mean like, really like this shoe. I took it on a lot of my key workouts during my marathon training because it was just the perfect complement to the shoe that I race in, which is the Adios Adi Zero Pro 3. It felt great. But when I was doing my last interval workout and I thought to myself, man, my feet feel like they're like spilling out of this shoe, finish my last 400 and look, and I can see my sock directly out of the side of my shoe, this is a problem. This is an absolute problem. And now one of the things I loved about this shoe was that race feel upper. It is very thin, it is very breathable, and it is very comfortable, but it should not be breaking down after only 90 miles. Adidas, we gotta do better. If you have the Boston 11 and have had these issues, or if you've taken it a lot further, let me know because I'm looking at the bottom of these shoes and the wear patterns, and yeah, I mean, they've got 90 miles of wear on the shoes, but the Light Strike and the Light Strike Pro, they look great. They look like they're in good condition. Every other part of this shoe looks like it's ready to go another 200, 300 plus miles, but Adidas, this is a problem. If you wanna read, hear my full review, check it out, but as of now, this is a bummer. This is a major, major bummer.